What's up YouTube? It's been a while since I've been fishing, but I just want to give you a quick update on my newest kayak that I just bought. I sold my own, which was the uh, the Ocean Kayak Trident 13, which was a really nice kayak, but I really wanted something that was a little bit more for the flats because that's where I do all my fishing. So I got the Native Watercraft Ultimate 12 Angler Edition which I ordered online because my local shop didn't have the right model. But as you can see, the angler comes with two of these Scotty raw mount posts, which you any of these Scotty's rod can adapt in there and fit any direction you want to. These two I bought to make it a little bit easier for me to um, put my rods into. The ones that came with the kayak were these one here, which doubled as a baitcaster and a spinning rod with a little rubber attachment here to keep them down. And these rubber slip pads didn't come with it. I had to buy these myself just to help when I'm standing. I don't like that and slip. And this is the bow cover hatch which I bought this as well to help keep some of the water out when the water splashes over because this is the open hybrid kayak and canoe so any water that gets in can't get out unless if you have some kind of sponge or pump to get it out but first impression this is a really nice kayak comes with the first class seat which is very comfortable and a nice thing is that it sits you up above the water so if water do get in you're not sitting in the puddle of water like you do if you're sitting in the um, sit on top kayak but it goes in all the way so you can store some of your stuff inside there and this is 12 feet one about just a little under 31 inches empty haul I weighed it comes in about 52 pounds which is really light the the ocean kayak was at least 60 a little bit more than 60 pounds which doesn't sound a lot more but when you lift it in and put it on top of your car you'll feel the difference especially at the end of the day when you're done fishing so the the light weight of this kayak will help a lot takes off a lot of pressure off the back but it's a nice looking kayak really nice comes with the um, rail mount that goes along inside the the whole kayak and the outside which will allow you to put attachment inside like I also have um, rod holders that will slide in here that will sit right here and that will hold my rod not rod rod, but my, my paddle holder and also my uh, my stake out pole and you can see it's got two of these rail mounts on the side here which will allow you to put anything you want either an extra rod holder, a GPS holder, fish finder, whatever you name it but Really nice. I did try it in the pool, standing up, and getting up and getting down was actually pretty easy on this. But getting standing up and staying up was a little difficult. It's probably only because it's the first time I actually really stood on a kayak. But I'm pretty sure with practice and time, I'll be able to stand up just fine. but the seat comes out pretty easy it's not too difficult just unlatch these put the seat down hold up and that's it which this can double as a chair put it down and you can sit on the ground 
but the feet attached to these two pretty heavy duty they can move around a little bit but they hold the seat in pretty good and that's about it if you have any questions just comment below and I'll be sure to get back to you